and welcome to our pack tutorial this is lesson 4 managing assemblies an assembly is a product made of more pieces so in order to create an assembly you need to have its components components of that product so go to code lists product and services and at the bottom of the screen you will see a black button so click on new new product first product of our assembly will be monitor you can define other parameters such as barcode unit of measurement product type VAT rate but for now click OK as after that we will create another product create new new product will say and enter its barcode after that we'll create another one new product let's say and enter its barcode click OK and another product for example, motherboard and barcode, click OK. So these are basic elements. We have formed a few products and now we will form an assembly of one product. So click on new, new assembly. So obviously an assembly is computer. So enter name computer. its barcode will be for example this and here you will enter assemble parts you can search your products by number or by description here it is quantity one another one will say here it is quantity one we had here it is quantity one and we had motherboard mm. here it is quantity one and when you're done click ok and as you can see status of your product is assembly and now we will make a purchase go to purchasing supplier invoice and when you get into supplier invoice create new supplier invoice here new with VAT and enter the name of your partner let's say and type that this is an invoice mm, enter number and enter your and enter the products you want to buy let's say you want to buy monitor enter another product <coughs> enter another product
and and the last one and when you're done click ok now when you go to inventory and stock list you will see all products you purchased now let's do sales go to sales invoice and make a new invoice with VAT and enter the name of your partner to whom you are selling this let's say ABB comp company and enter description of your product let's say computer Intel here it is quantity one price $250 and when you're done you can print this invoice click print and you will see how your invoice looks like here it is you can also send it by email save it in cloud or print it or you can save it as PDF Excel or Word document now if you go to your inventory and stock list you will see computer Intel zero quantity if you enter this document you will see that one assembly has been created and that one was sold you have other useful data and you can see them by moving this cursor here so you have stock price you can see for example selling price it's here and you can see your margin uh, amount it's here if you want to see your products individually just click on one product and for example you will see that motherboard was used with this document computer intel and this is how you can create assembled products in case you have customer returns go to sales customer returns and we will create a new customer return new return we will enter the name of our partner let's say a B B company we will define number let's say this and we will find our return by number or by name and after that click OK in case you want to check your inventory list just go to inventory inventory and stock list and here you'll see that you are left with one computer Intel one piece and if you want to enter this document click here and you'll see that computer has been returned now in case you if you have uh, another sale go to sales invoice and let's make another invoice let's say new new invoice and we will sell two computers to Kroger for example and let's say computer Intel quantity 2 by the price of $250 and after that click OK check your inventory and stock list you will see that for computer Intel quantity is 0 when you enter this document you will see that we had only one assembly that we sold which means that ERPAG always replenish your quantities in the sales process with that we will finish this lesson and give you a hint for our next lesson if you want to disassemble a product you will go to production disassemble but we'll save that for our next video thank you